Hello students, this is Professor Chilai, and in this video we're going to go over even more uh, enthalpy of reaction calculations from uh, examples where we actually measure the delta H using a calorimeter. Uh, you, since you already technically know how to solve all of these questions because we went over enthalpy of reaction calculations in our previous video, you can go ahead and pause the video now and answer numbers 23 and 24 by yourself. See if you can figure it out. If you can't, just unpause the video and I'll go over, go over it with you. Okay, let's look at number 23, which is the reaction between magnesium and hydrochloric acid to produce magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. Here, they already give us the balanced chemical equation and they're asking us to find the delta H for the reaction as written. So they're asking us to find the delta H of this reaction in the thermochemical reaction. Okay. They tell us that we use 0.158 grams of magnesium and enough HCl to make 100 milliliters of solution. So that means that we already know our limiting reagent is magnesium. Uh, so this is our limiting reagent. So we don't need to try to figure out which one's our limiting reagent in this reaction. It says that HCl completely reacts with the magnesium, means the magnesium, magnesium is completely used up, and the solution changes from 25.6 degrees to 32.8 degrees Celsius as a result of the reaction, and they tell us to use uh, one gram per milliliter for the density of water, uh, or density of the solution, and the specific heat capacity of water as a specific heat capacity of the calorimeter. So we have a reaction, and our reaction is a separate system from the calorimeter, so we know that the heat from the reaction is going to be negative the heat from the calorimeter. And the heat from the reaction is just going to be the enthalpy change because it's at constant pressure, it's at um, atmospheric pressure. So if we can figure out the heat from the calorimeter, we can figure out the enthalpy for this reaction. So let's do that. So the enthalpy of the reaction. So the heat from the calorimeter should be the mass of the calorimeter uh, we don't know the mass, but we know the volume and we know the density, so we can figure out the mass from that. So it's 100.0 mils times the density of 1.00 gram per mil, which will give us 100 grams as a mass, times the specific heat capacity, 4.18 joule per gram per degree Celsius, times the temperature change, right? So the temperature change is 32.8 degrees Celsius minus 25.6 degrees Celsius. So if we calculate the temperature change, I think this comes out to 7.2 degrees Celsius, and I only did that um, to figure out our significant figures. So our answer should have two significant figures. So the degrees Celsius will cancel out there, the grams cancel out there, and so the heat from the calorimeter is going to be... Uh, 3.0 to by 10 to the third joules, which is just 3.0 kilojoules to two sig figs. So this is the heat from the calorimeter, which means that the delta H for the reaction is going to be negative of that, negative 3.0 kilojoules, because uh, the heat from the reaction will be negative. The reaction is the system, the calorimeter is the environment, so it'll be negative. So this is the heat for the reaction, but this is when we react 0.158 grams of magnesium. The delta H for this reaction should be when we react one mole of magnesium. So to figure out uh, how much the heat will be for one mole of magnesium, we need to first find how much moles of magnesium uh, that we actually reacted. And we reacted 0 0.158 grams of magnesium. We divide by the molar mass of magnesium, which is 24.31 grams per mole. And this will give us uh, 0 0.00650 moles of magnesium. So the delta H for the react for this uh, thermochemical equation would be the amount of energy that we got, which is minus 3.0 kilojoules, divided by the number of moles of magnesium that we used, 650 moles of magnesium, multiplied by how many magnesium moles of magnesium are in this equation. Uh, there's only one mole of magnesium in this equation, so it's going to be one mole of magnesium. So the delta H for this thermochemical equation should come out to minus 
460 to 2 sig figs kilojoules. So, yep, 460 kilojoules. Where is that? Here we go. Minus 460 kilojoules. Let's just highlight that. So that's the delta H for the reaction as written. Okay, let's look at number 24. Again, if you haven't done it already, please pause the video uh, and on pause when you think you have an answer and we can go over it together. Okay, in number 24, they give, they give us the balanced chemical equation. And again, they're asking us to find the delta H for the reaction as written. So we need the delta H for this reaction. They give us both reactants, 50 mils of a 0.1 molar solution of silver nitrate and 50 mils of a 0.1 molar solution of HCl. Uh, they give us the temperature change, 23.40 to 24.21. They tell us that we should use uh, a specific heat capacity of 4.18 and a density of 1.00. So first, we, before we can find the delta H of the reaction, we need to find the heat from the calorimeter because the delta H of the reaction will be negative the heat from the calorimeter. So the heat from the calorimeter will be the mass, which is the total volume of 100.0 milliliter, right? The two solutions added up together, times the density, 1.00 grams per milliliter. So that will give us the mass in grams. That multiplied by the specific heat capacity of 4.18 joules per gram per degree Celsius, so the grams cancel out. And then times the temperature change, the temperature change is 24.21 degrees Celsius minus 23.40 degrees Celsius. And this all gives us, if you plug all of this into our calculation, so the degrees Celsius will cancel out, and we should get to two sig figs. 340 joules, which since delta H is usually written in kilojoules, we'll just write this as 0.34 kilojoules. So that means that the delta H of the reaction will just be negative, right? This is the opposite sign, negative 0.34 kilojoules. Okay, so this is the delta H when we perform this reaction with these amounts of reactant. However, we need to find a delta H for this equation as written, which is for one mole of silver nitrate and one mole of uh, silver hydrochloric acid. So that means we need to find which one of the silver nitrate or the hydrochloric acid was the limiting reactant. Now, we could perform the calculation, but because we know that the mole ratio here are one to one, and we use the same amount of volume and the same concentration of silver nitrate, and the same volume and the same concentration of uh, hydrochloric acid, we realize that we added them in equal amounts. And so neither or both are limiting reagents. So it doesn't matter which one we pick, we just need to pick one. Um, you could do those calculations by yourself to figure out which one's a limiting reagent, but um, we don't need to because they're both, um, they're both the same. So we're gonna use silver nitrate. So this is, this is the amount for uh, the amount of heat produced when we react 50 mils of 0 0.100 molar silver nitrate. So how many moles of silver nitrate was that? Let's figure it out. So it's 50 mil, 0 0.0 mils. Uh, we can get number of moles from volume using the concentration, but that volume needs to be in liters first. So let's uh, change the units to liters. We know that one liter is 1,000 milliliters. And then we multiply by the concentration, which is 0 0.100 molars, which is moles over liters. So if we uh, plug that into our calculator, we'll get 0 0.00500 moles of silver nitrate. So this is the amount of heat we produce when we use 0 0.00500 moles of silver nitrate. So what's the delta H for one mole of silver nitrate? Well, let's see. The delta H, let's create some more space, the delta H will be the heat we produce minus 0 0.34 kilojoules when we use up 0 0.00500 moles of silver nitrate times the number of silver nitrate in the equation, which is one mole of silver nitrate. So the delta H for this reaction comes out to be negative 68 to 2 sig figs kilojoules. So in this equation here, 
the delta H is minus 68 kilojoules. All right, so we did some more uh, enthalpy calculation. I hope this is all coming together now. Uh, again, the enthalpy is for this equation, but oftentimes when we were trying to solve for it, we're using not one mole of a reactant or not one mole of product, but we're using some random amount of moles. So we just need to figure out uh, what the delta H would be for the one mole of silver nitrate, for example, in the equation. All right, in our next video, we're going to go over standard enthalpy of combustion. Again, it's more enthalpy calculations. The reason why we're doing this so, uh, so much is so that it, 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 you know, it sticks and becomes second nature. All right, I'll see you in the next video when we talk about standard enthalpy of combustion. See you then. Bye.